Lorna Day's son, Sam, was only nine years old when he was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. And we found a tumor in his left leg, just below the knee. Uh, he went into those five types of chemotherapy for about 10 months. During that time, he had his left leg amputated below the knee. He went into remission for a year, but despite the aggressive treatment, the cancer was soon come back. So they had to amputate part of his other foot as well. And that led to another four years of battling cancer, and we lost him when he was 15 years old um, in 2016. Lorna started a foundation called the Sam Day Foundation that focuses on funding research for childhood cancers. Anything to do with cancer, it was too painful for me, but I just knew too much, and uh, I knew how desperately this population of, of young people needs better options. Lorna's friend, Eleanor Wilkinson, started volunteering with the Sam Day Foundation. Then, in an unfortunate coincidence, her son would also be diagnosed with cancer. He actually was playing in a Little League baseball game, and he got tripped up by a runner and stepped on on his leg, and that led to just this excruciating pain happening in his left femur. But it wasn't just any pain. Taking him to an orthopedist, to then getting an MRI and then a biopsy. Um, and on July 18th in 2023, he was diagnosed with um, cancer, with B-Core sarcoma cancer. Her son Benjamin started treatment right away, including several rounds of chemotherapy. He had surgery to remove the tumor that left him with a titanium rod. For an eight-year-old uh, kid to all of a sudden who was used to playing sports and running around and jumping, um, all of that got taken away from him. Benjamin finished his last round of chemo in February and gets checked every three months. Now Lorna and Eleanor are fighting for more research and better cancer treatment for children. They say the National Institutes of Health only dedicates 4% of funding to childhood cancers. That means for every dollar raised, 96 cents goes to adult cancers and 4 cents goes to childhood cancers. We have not progressed the protocols and the drugs and the treatments for these kids. Um, is a little bit mind-blowing um, as a parent because although Benjamin's body was really able to handle the chemotherapy well, there's a lot of kids that aren't that lucky. My son Sam had Ewing sarcoma and he was on five different types of chemotherapy. The oldest one was developed in 1959 and the newest was developed in 1983. So it's now been over 40 years since we've seen advances. Lorna and Eleanor say they won't lose hope and will keep advocating for children with cancer. We've seen definitely some effects, you know, from the chemo on Benjamin's body. And so if we can just find, if we can just find better treatments, if we can find things that just can help in a better way, that would be a good thing. We have so much great technology uh, and resources around cancer research now that we can apply more to kids um, where kids' cancers are being left behind. Deidre Johnson, KGW News.